Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Mohammad Jahi. I studied Bachelor of Science at Monash University, and I am currently studying Bachelor of Medical Science and Doctor of Medicine at Monash University. So when I was a little girl, I was really uh, passionate about to become a doctor. Um, but I knew that it's very competitive and it's really hard to get into. So I thought maybe I should just put it aside. Um, during my Bachelor of Science, I completed a lot of internships um, in order to just improve my networking skills and just to get to know more about myself, what I want to do. I remember I was so passionate towards law um, that I worked in law department for three months and I actually hated it. I did not want to do science and law, so I just put it aside. I thought maybe it's best for me to give it a go um, at science and arts degree. Um, when I was doing my science and arts um, units, I realized that I was enjoying science units more than arts units. So I decided to drop the arts degree and just go ahead with single science degree. Uh, yeah, and then I started working at Monash Health. And remember when I just put my feet into hospital, my heart started pumping so hard um, that I could hear it. And I knew in that moment that uh, working in a health sector in a hospital setting environment and becoming a doctor is uh, my thing and I should give it a go. And then, yeah, I just, here you go, now studying uh, medicine, trying to be a doctor. <laughs> I kind of specifically remember all of my um, units that I have completed, um, but I just know that Monash Medicine provides the whole list of um, the units for Bachelor of Science and other faculties. So it's really important for um, you guys to complete minimum of five units um, from those lists. Um, I majored in physiology, so pretty much majority of physiology units were listed in there, and I minored in biochem. Um, so I remember I completed did BCH2011 and BCH2022, which was that um, the two units were listed in there as well. And I did three other physiology units for my major. It's really important when you're completing your first year to complete uh, chemistry and biology. So it will allow you to complete majority of the units that you want to do in your second and third year. Um, so Monash University doesn't actually need anyone to do GAMSAT. It's best to do GAMSAT because it um, just allows you opportunity to apply to other universities, um, which they do require GAMSAT. Unfortunately, I didn't do any GAMSAT because I knew that Monash doesn't need any GAMSAT and I had my heart set into Monash Medicine, um, which I know it's very risky of me. Uh, in terms of MMI, the interview, and then situational judgment test, um, I remember this organization provide a lot of sessions, one-on-one -on -one session as well that they do. Um, it's actually like MMI, actual setting um, environment that you go and you just answer all the questions and at the very end, they will send you a feedback um, so you can improve. Also, they have podcasts, free podcasts that you can listen to. I remember listening to them every single day, which actually provided a lot of tips and advice. And I think they helped me so much. So like I mentioned, I did not uh, apply to any other universities, which is very risky and please do not do that. So if you want to have more opportunities, more doors to be open towards you, please do the GAMSAT. So oh, my one, I do not remember that specifically, it was around 86.5, um, I think. Um, just my GPA was four out of four. Um, when you put your heart into something and you're so motivated to get in there, trust me, eventually you are going to work so hard toward it and you just give you 100% best effort. And that's what I did. Um, just I remember reaching out to so many other people who are actually doing medicine and just getting some advice and tips from them. Um, it's really important to work in a group um, setting as well, because in that way, you just encourage each other as well to do best. Um, 
And yeah, that's what I did. Um, it's just really important as well to take care of yourself. And trust me, eventually you're going to get in there. So I actually reached out to a lot of my friends who were studying medicine. Um, I, in terms of that, I think I count myself lucky. Um, but please reach out to science faculty. I remember being over the phone talking to them and they were giving me so many tips and advice and just like helping me um, and telling me to complete these units, particularly um, when I list at five units. Um, yeah, they were helping with me with my majors and minors and getting more understanding how the whole application process work. Um, if you have any questions or you have any doubts, just reach out to any med student that you know. Just um, There's a group chat. Um, I'm not sure if you are allowed to get in. It's called MMUS for Monash Medical Students. Um, you can just see um, and reach out to them and ask any question that you have. Um, but just Monash Science Faculty and Medicine Faculty can provide you sufficient information um, to get into medicine. I just want to say take care of your mental health it's very important to just take care of yourself you just don't want to get into medicine and be bent out uh, it's just the beginning it's getting harder and very intense but you're going to love it um yeah it's just really important and make sure that when you pick unit your units during semester you just play very smart smart um, make sure that you don't pick all the hard units in one semester um, you can give it a go and choose your electives um, a bit easier electives because for example i picked um, first year electives and with my third year levels which gave me more flexibility and time to focus on my third year levels as well as I really enjoyed my first year level for example I remember completing SCI 1300 which was about environment and earth and I actually got so much information and knowledge about earth and environment everyone's timeline is different do not compare your timeline with someone else go ahead with your own pace it's it's okay to underload or take your own time trust me if you're so dedicated and motivated to get into medicine you will